March is National Nutrition Month, and this year's goal is to spread the importance of making good food choices. And that comes with knowing how to read a nutrition label correctly. In tonight's Health Week, Kelloland's Sophie Heineman shows us what to look for. Stepping inside the aisles in a grocery store can at times feel intimidating. Because all the different varieties of food, you don't really know what you're looking for. You know, I never really had to plan out a diet till now. And that was just because I had to. This is something that we have to really work on. Registered dietitian Tiffany Krogstad says while it takes a little extra time to read nutrition labels, it can aid in a healthier lifestyle. People oftentimes get um, overwhelmed with looking at a food label and what they should and should not be reading. 110 calories. Bergman was recently diagnosed with diverticulitis, an inflammation or infection in his intestines. To treat it, he follows a healthier diet and says checking nutrition labels is a must. Look at the calories and the fats, the saturated fat, whatever's in there. I like the natural cheese. Something you may start to notice while shopping is the updated nutrition labels. Krogstad says the process is expected to be completed in 2021. The serving sizes are changing to be more appropriate what people are actually consuming. Um, the calories are going to be more bold. The thing I like about it is that they added the added sugars. She recommends no more than 26 grams of added sugar for kids and women and no more than 36 grams for men per day. Another thing dietitians say is important when checking nutrition labels is to avoid the ingredients blue one and red 40. While both dyes are currently FDA approved, the National Institutes of Health says red 40 has been found to be contaminated with benzodyne, a chemical associated with certain cancers. The NIH also states that blue one is associated with hyperactivity. With new research and new recommendations out there, I think that it's time that the label does need to be updated. So I think this is going to be a good change. Krogstad is looking forward to the updated nutrition labels and hopes it will help lead to a healthier lifestyle for those struggling. With Health Beat, I'm Sophie Heineman.